Hey guys, it's Star with Eyes of the Stars Tarot. So this is going to be the Aries video for the month of March 2019. So we're going to start with love. Let's see what you Aries have going on. bottom of the deck oh lord we have the queen of wands reverse so this is you what's going on you're not happy you are maybe even angry with someone six of swords reverse whoa four of wands reverse wow so chaos at home i feel like some of you are contemplating a breakup queen of pentacles Five of Cups reverse. We have the Ten of Cups, the Fool, how you see yourself is the world, how your partner sees you, Page of Cups, Hopes or Fears, the Ace of Pentacles, and your overall outcome is the Eight of Wands. Hmm. Okay. So Six of Swords in reverse, though. It's like something's going on at home you want things to work out obviously because we have the ten of cups here you don't want to leave this person but it's like no matter how hard you try you keep going back to the same thing it's like the issues you don't seem to resolve them ever and i feel like this is not the first time because we have this five of cups here in the reverse which means that something was forgiven um there was heartbreak in the past there was like sadness here and then it got swept under the rug. So that was the past. Let's see. Six of Swords reverse. Mm. Five of Swords. Yeah, you can't get away from that Five of Swords. You guys keep arguing, bickering. Um, somebody's always needing to be right. I feel like there's definitely ego involved here. I don't know if it's on your part or your partner's side or both of you. Eight of Pentacles and the Hierophant Reverse. So yeah, you continue to try to work on things, but you keep going back to the same arguments over and over and over. It's almost like you guys never learn. Um, or you're starting to see that, that this has become a pattern of behavior where you just keep repeating the same arguments. You keep repeating the same scenarios. So what's crossing you is this Four of Wands reverse. Temperance. Chaos at home and it's really difficult to keep the peace. To stay out of the conflict. To stay in this relationship. It's become a challenge. Staying in this relationship has definitely uh, become a challenge to you. And the reason for it is the Queen of Pentacles. Let's see. The Star Reverse. I feel for some of you that um, you don't feel appreciated by your partner. You feel like they don't really see the value in you. Uh, and you're starting to lose hope. Like I said, this has been going on for a while. You guys keep forgiving and keep trying again and trying again. Um, but it seems like this person never really gets it. The Sun Reverse. The Two of Wands. Yeah, it seems like they just don't get it. They don't get what it takes to make you happy. It's really just valuing you, uh, respecting you. And so you've gotten to the point now where you see that you know this has been long enough things aren't changing i have to i'm at a crossroads here you have to make a move five of cups reverse in the past ace of rods reverse eight of wands reverse and the three of swords yeah i felt like um you know there was a situation here in the past where there was heartbreak, clearly. We have the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups, but both of these are in reverse. So, like I said, it got swept under the rug. It got forgiven, 
but there was a thought of taking action even then. I, I don't feel like it's the first time that you contemplate leaving this relationship and you stopped yourself. You stopped yourself and, you know, tried to make things right again. And I feel like you're still there. You're still wanting to make things right again, but I don't know that your partner is doing enough. You see, we have that five of wands again, two of pentacles reversed. You want to keep things peaceful. You want to be happy with this person, with your partner. But you continue to have these back and forth bickering. And you just feel overwhelmed. You don't see eye to eye on anything. You don't agree. Um, it's almost like you, your, your partner even sabotages the relationship in some cases. It's not for all of you, but I do feel in some cases... You get to, you've gotten to the point where you feel like they're actually sabotaging. Uh, you know, I feel like somebody's partner out there, the reason you feel like that is because you don't see the effort on their part. And so it's almost like you get the feeling that they're trying to push you into making that decision, that final decision to end this because they don't want to be the ones to say it. So near future, we have the fool. Clarified by the full reverse. Interesting. Um, let's see. Well, that Knight of Rods reverse. Nine of Pentacles reverse. And the Hierophant. Reverse. Hmm. I feel like you guys are really getting close to just not not being able to deal with this anymore. You're going to take some sort of action. It may be impulsive, okay, with this full reverse and the Knight of Rods being here. I feel like it's an impulsive action that you take, um, knowing deep down inside that you're going to miss this person, that you're going to feel almost abandoned. You don't want to be lonely. You don't want to get out of this marriage, but there's something that's going to trigger you to just doing it here in the near future um i feel like you're almost like already on the edge and anything that this person does that your partner does is just gonna be the one little push that you need to just go um and i'm, I'm kind of seeing that that's gonna happen you you know you're very clear that you're gonna suffer through it but i feel like they're just gonna push you to that oh hold on okay so you know, especially here, the way you see yourself is the world. I feel like, you, you know, you know it's time. Time's up, basically. This thing has run its course. Um, you've been through this cycle before. Let's see. Ten of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune reverse, the Magician. So, I mean, look, guys, we have a ten here, we have a zero here, which means like a new beginning. You're trying to leave. We have a completion, another ten, completion of this uh, family situation. Why another ten? The Wheel of Fortune reverse because things took a turn. Okay, they're, they're, they're taking a turn for the worst. Each day that passes, the situation looks bleaker. And then we have the magician, again, a new beginning. Also your energy. Um, I just feel like you guys are really preparing yourself to end this. How your partner sees you, the page of cups. Four of cups. Ace of cups reverse. Six of Wands. They see you as gaining strength. They see you as gaining the confidence. I feel like what you were lacking before or they were able to kind of sweet talk you out of leaving in the past. Um, <clears throat> and I feel like this time they know it's different. 
because they see you as much more confident now, like you can take them on. Um, and they and they feel that you are rejecting their usual sweet talk. Um, you're just not having it anymore. It's not having the effect that it used to on you. And so they know something's up. Hopes or fears, the Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. Death, a new beginning and an ending. So it's either a hope or a fear. I feel like, uh, you know, in part, it's kind of both for you at this point. We have the Ace of Swords and the Moon Reverse. Mm. So this is learning the truth. You want to know the truth about this, this whole situation. There's something that you feel is hidden. You want to know the truth so that, so that you can have a new beginning. Either with them, which I feel like un, there's an underlying desire to make things right here and, and for you guys to be able to stay together. But you know how this relationship has been going thus far. And um, it's time to make a decision. You know that whatever it is that you're trying to find out or that you're trying to figure out or decide, um, either it's going to take you towards a new beginning on your own or with somebody else, or you're going to continue on with this person. But I'm, I'm feeling like you're leaning towards ending the relationship and just starting fresh somewhere else. And with the Eight of Wands, there's going to be some movement here, quick movement as well, as well as communication, conversations, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm feeling there's movement toward a new beginning, starting fresh. Okay, but here's your energy, King of Rods, Reverse. Oh, gosh. Four of Wands, Reverse. Page of Cups. I see water here, uh, specifically Scorpio. Um, could also be Cancer, well, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but I do, see, I have a lot of, um, strong Scorpio, Pisces energy here as well. So, an action is going to be taken here. Like I said, I feel like, you know, you need to have a new beginning, okay? And you're not happy about it. Um, but you're also not going to take, I feel like you've outgrown your partner, especially if you're with a water sign again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, you don't feel that they're mature enough to carry this relationship. The re relationship got too big for them. You know, they don't have the maturity to deal with, uh, children to deal with, you know, being able to agree on certain things, being able to compromise. I feel like this person, uh, may be all about them. At times, they don't take you into consideration, which is why you feel like they don't value you. They don't value your opinion. Um, it's almost like they don't fight for you enough. And so you're ready to just let it go. Uh, and I feel like this is going to be a conversation that you're having. We have two pages and this eight of wands. It's definitely a conversation about letting go of the relationship and just having a new beginning and kind of making the plans from there. So, yeah, I, I, I just, you guys are not happy. I can see that. And it's been going on. Like I said, this has been cycles and cycles of, I feel like you're in a karmic relationship. Um, really, as far as signs, I see so many signs here that it can be anybody, but I do get a lot of water energy. Um, Virgo, Gemini. I mean, like I said, it can be anyone. Uh, really, if, if the situation applies, you'll know. I don't really need to say the signs, but I feel like that is the gist of it, is uh, you're struggling leaving this relationship because clearly you love them, but um, they just might not be, whoever it is that you're with is, might not be suited for such a committed relationship. They don't quite know how to handle it. And so, you know, you're at the point where you decided that you deserve better. You deserve more. You deserve somebody who is at your level. So good luck, Aries. All right, let's move on to your finance and career reading. All right, 
bottom of the deck geez ten of swords reverse okay so at least it's in the reverse so the worst is over something must have happened here how many did i take off okay yeah king of pentacles reverse the three of wands so there was a very trying time here in your, with your finances. Um, you encountered some sort of crisis. Something happened. Perhaps somebody in your family even got hurt. I'm feeling like somebody needed um, help, like health care uh, help. They went to the hospital. They, whatever the case, I feel like there was a big expense that was um, kind of out of the blue. Um yeah, there were decisions that you needed to make that, you know, were inevitable. You just had to do it. Uh, if it's not having to do with somebody's health or your health, your spouse's health, um, it's just stress. You know, something unfortunate that happened that affected your financial situation. Now you're uh, you're trying to foresee what other problems can come up. So now you're really in this mode of trying to save money because I'm, I'm getting the sense that times are you know things are tight here yeah and even in the future we have uh sort of an over overwhelming feeling here let's see okay five of pentacles reverse you're coming up here in the reverse mm -hmm. Yeah, something happened. Um, you guys had to make a decision, a really tough decision, uh, in order to get yourself out of a financial bind here in the past. So you may have had to sacrifice, um, you know, the luxuries that you were used to, perhaps, or just things that, you know, you like to do. Maybe you had to cancel your gym membership or um, whatever, whatever it is. There had to be some sacrifices made because, you know, you had to take these decisions upon yourself because, like I said, you were in a tight financial situation. King of Rods reverse. The Three of Cups reverse. Page of Swords. Um, definitely this situation has affected others around you. For some of you, it's like your children, or family, friends. I feel like uh, you almost played the bad guy here because you had to give somebody, maybe your children, some bad news. Oh, hey, you know, we have to cancel your cell phones. Oh my gosh, that would be like the end of the world for kids. So things like that, that you're having to deal with. Um, three of Wands. Okay, two of wands here. So there's a progression or pentacles reverse. So there's definitely some changes that you, you've been having to make to get these burdens uh, off of you. Um, I feel like it definitely you're having to get rid of whatever it is that you don't really need. Um, so like I said, like luxury items, um, things that you can do without. Yeah. You're just trying to get on better footing here. So definitely Four of Pentacles is about saving. It's about being frugal. And this is presently. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Nine of Pentacles, okay. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, there is some disappointment here because there's certain things that you're not going to be able to do. But like I said, the name of the game is saving money. I feel like you're going to do really well with that. Um, you may even take like an additional job or uh, some additional shifts, <clears throat> doing some overtime, but you will be able to get yourself into a better position. So that's the good news. Now in the future, we have the Two of Pentacles reverse. Six of Cups reverse. I'm getting the feeling that there's definitely children being affected here. This is why it's affecting you so much because, you know, that's the toughest thing for parents uh, is to have to take things away from their kids when it's not really their fault. It's just, you know, a matter of circumstance. <clears throat> okay, chariot. 
Eight of Wands, one more. And the Two of Pentacles again. So Two of Pentacles reverse, clarifying the Two of Pentacles reverse. All right. Um, I feel like whatever happened in the past actually is going to end up being a blessing to you because it kind of forced you to get your act together. So what you're going to see here once all this is over is you're going to identify all the things you've been spending money on that probably weren't necessary. Now, some of them, you know, they're not necessary, but they're a thing that you, you kind of have to have, you know, like a cell phone. You, who can live without that now? Yeah, it's an ad added bill, but you need it. So things like that. Um, or not things like that, just other things that you could have done away with. You're going to figure that out. Uh, and I think you're going to be very successful at that, actually, um, to where you're going to create a new normal that's acceptable for everyone. Now, um, this is going to help you progress even more. It's, it's going to, how do I say this? Let's see. It ends up being a blessing because it teaches you better money management. Um, and, you know, the universe has a funny way of doing these kind of things when they're preparing you for some sort of blessing. They have to make sure that you're ready to receive it. And I feel like that may be what was going on here um, because I do feel like there's some victories coming to you. We have the chariot card here with the eight of wands. So things are going to move quickly. Okay, you're going to get yourself, you're already, I feel, um, feeling in a better situation financially. This is, uh, you know, something that's be getting resolved, that you've gotten resolved through your discipline. Um, and in the future here, yeah, you remember these bad times. It has been very overwhelming, but you will see that it's going to put you on a path to being even more successful. Because now you know, like you've been through the hard stuff and you see that you could handle it, okay? So it takes away your fear, makes you more confident in yourself, more confident in your abilities. And um, it, like I said, it helps you be more successful. So the worst is definitely over. Yeah, you guys have been through a hard time. Your children have been affected. But now things are going to change quickly and they're going to change for the better. Okay, so at least some good news there for you guys. All right, thank you. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.